All right, hello everybody. So it is pretty early in the morning, it's like seven, and I'm up because I had a Calc 3 exam last night, and the grades are up this morning, and I wanted to check how I did. And so I just happened to check my tweets while I'm falling back asleep, and I see this Mac OS X 10.8 Mountain Lion preview. So that's pretty cool and actually pretty unexpected. I was not expecting that. Um, in the least, but the cool thing are the features that it encompasses. So I'm going to go through here. I'm just on the verge right now, just looking at their article because they offer a good summary. But I'm going to actually go through all those things. So here's a video of it. You can watch it if you want. But I'm going to go to a couple of things. First one's Notification Center. So if you use Growl for your Mac, um, you'll understand it. But Notification Center is basically like a built-in Growl, like a Growl replacement, and it's I think it's been a long time coming because Growl has been dominant for a long time, but it just shows that Mac is moving towards iOS. So I'm going to keep this moving here, and here's the big thing, messages. And if you read here in the messages, it's iChat, but it's been given a new name, and it has iMessage built in. And so if you go here to this link, you can actually download the new messages app. Just click the download link. And... Uh, iMessage for Mac. So I'm going to open that up here actually, do a quick review in a little bit. Um, but uh, keep going through. It's got AirPlay mirroring, Game Center, I mean iCloud. It just has everything that iOS has, but they're bringing it to desktop. So see here, here's their point. iOS keeps coming to OS X. The calendar looks more like iOS. Notes look more like iOS. There's a Reminders app. Sharing in Twitter is now a built-in functionality. And the last thing you'll see is this thing called Gatekeeper. And what's this for is a more of a corporate or a lockdown environment. Basically, it lets you only install applications on your Mac that are from Mac App Store developers and developers who purchase an Apple developer certificate. So... That's kind of a cool thing, depending on what you're looking to do, but, you know, maybe not so cool. But the cool thing here is that I'm going to install messages real quick. I'm actually, this is my first install. And, uh, no, come on, you piece. I don't, it's, it's, I was just taken off guard, basically, by the release of um, mountain lion preview. I mean, it was in the middle of the night. There was no no one knew anything about it. So it's, that's pretty cool. I mean, come take out check out this page. If you're a developer, you can actually download it. Um, I am the developer portal is down right now, probably because so many people want to get to it. But I'm gonna download developer preview probably later today. I have another exam tonight, but. Oh, whatever. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you can download the developer preview, uh, check it out. I mean, it's pretty, I'm just pretty impressed. Definitely watch this video, though. So, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to cut through here and cut straight to the iMessage um, review, I guess you could call it. All right, so here it is. I got the iMessages app up and running. And it's going to actually ask you to log in um, the very first thing you do with your Apple ID that you use for iMessage. So after you do that, you'll see, I think I'm just going to send one to myself. I'll just send one there and say this is a test. And it probably, yeah, so see, look at that. And I get the alert on my phone also because obviously it's hooked into iMessage and so I can reply this is really cool and the cool thing is you can't see it but I actually see the dot 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 bubble going for I'm responding to the conversation on my iPhone and see it's going right there and it actually works both ways here I'll say ha 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 and then the cool thing is is this is a test see I'm not typing on my computer I'm typing on my iPhone but it still works so it's pretty cool. It's the functionality is pretty basic right now. 
And the issue with that is it doesn't integrate well with if you use iMessages from your um, phone number. Whoops. Like I'm iMessaging someone right now and it's to my phone number and so I'm only getting the ones to my Apple ID and so the pro I mean you know that's a problem but I'm sure they'll work on integration with that overall the user interface is really nice I really like it it looks really good looks simple looks just how I'd imagine iMessage on a Mac to be and so um, yeah I mean it's pretty really pretty cool I'll have a link in the description on where to download it um, leave comments on both iMessage for Mac and your general thoughts on Mountain Lion. I mean, is it too early? Think they're coming too fast? Think it's going to be buggy like Lion? Because let me tell you, Lion was buggy as hell. Um, yeah, just let me know. Leave some feedback. Be sure to like this video. Um, that's it. Check you guys later.